Hi, everyone. Welcome to yoga. Good to see you, Shore. Good to see you. All right, we're going to get started. People will probably be coming in as we go. We're going to actually do a little bit of something different today. We're going to kind of do a, a reverse class. <laughs> we're going to start with slow sun salutations as our warm up. And then we're going to get more heated and then we'll do some more um, some more quick sort of mobile mobility flow through some salutations with poses and then we'll end seated on the mat. So we're going to kind of go the other way, the way we kind of the reverse of how we usually start. So just to kind of begin, we usually always start with the breath. So we're going to start at the back of our mats in mountain pose. And you can close your eyes or you can leave them open and just have a soft gaze, maybe about six feet in front of you on the floor. We're just going to take a three count inhale and a three count exhale, maybe, maybe three of those. So just kind of bringing our focus to our breath and settling into our bodies. And as you breathe, notice what happens in your body. Notice if your belly gets a little bigger on the inhale, if you take breath into your chest. And on the exhale, notice if your belly flattens and if you maybe drop your shoulders. Just notice what happens. We don't have to do anything but just breathe. This might be a good time to bring in your ujjayi breathing, which is just a soft hissing sound on the exhale through your nose. It allows you to control that breath a little bit more. And in continuing this, we're gonna to start to add just a very simple inhale with the arms right reaching up and the chin tilting up. You can keep your eyes closed if you want, or you can open them and then a slow exhale, bringing the arms down. Now you may need to extend your breath a little bit more to a four or five count inhale. Let's do two more. Reaching up, looking up, finding the length. And then exhaling, letting the chin fall slowly, just matching the movement of the arms and the head with the breath and trying to elongate that breath. Next time we land down at the bottom of the exhale, let your breath return to normal and let your head just hang here for a bit. Go ahead and gently shake your head no. So you're just letting your chin go from left to right. And while you're here, I want you to take note of how your feet are planted in the floor. Make sure your knees aren't locked, but they have a slight micro bend but you still feel lengthened through the legs and through the waist and through the rib cage. Good, we're just shaking our head no. We're gonna take the hands behind the head and we're just gonna inhale and let the chest lift towards the ceiling as the chin raises up. You can get a slight arch in your back. Now, if you send your elbows back, you're also gonna get a stretch in your chest and your pecs. So we're gonna inhale here and then we're gonna exhale, scoop the belly in, bend the knees over the toes, and let the weight of the hands pull our chin down to our chest. Same thing, inhale, nice and slow. Elbows go back, 
chin goes up, chest goes forward a little bit tight, booty, elbows back, and then exhale. Scoop the belly, buddy, belly button in, knees come over the toes in a kind of parallel plie. You should feel a nice lower back stretch here as, as well as an upper neck stretch because the weight of your hands is pulling your head down. Continue on this just beautiful inhale with an arch and a tight booty and then an exhale with a nice curve dropping the elbows down to the mat. One more time. Good, and we're gonna take this around to the right. So let's take the top of the head to the right as we straighten the legs. Let's come through the arch. Hands are still behind the head. Take the head to the left, tilt the rib cage to the left, and then bend the knees forward over the toes, drop the elbows. One more time, circle to the right. Straighten the legs, come through the arch, tight booty, elbows back, tilt to the left, really tilt. See how close you can get that left elbow to the rib cage and then come down into that nice curved position. Let's go to the left two times. Inhale, big sweep of the rib cage. Exhale as you come forward. Inhale. Arch, exhale, curve. Good, you can take your hands down onto your knees. Now let's go ahead and just push into the knees and arch and look up. So we're kind of sticking out the booty here, lifting the chin, and then round, look down. Exhale. So we're doing like a standing cat-cow. Arch, hands on the knees and round, belly button to spine, arch, inhale, and round, one more time, and arch, and round, good, and now we're going to do the same thing that we did with the rib cage, we're going to drop the arms, shake them out, head is heavy, we're gonna inhale. The whole body is gonna sweep to the right. We're gonna come through the arch. The arms are up above the head. We come to the left, and then we drop into that forward hanging position. One more time. Inhale, big sweep of the body. All the way to the right, all the way back. All the way to the left, and back down. We're going to go twice to the left. Inhale, big circle, arms in parallel. Reach, 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 and exhale. Last time, big sweep, arch, and to the right. Beautiful, Yogi is really good. Good. We should be ready to come down a little bit further. If you need to take a block, that's a good thing to do because we're just beginning. We're going to come into a forward fold, but a nice easy one. Go ahead and shake the knees out one at a time. Gentle shake. Go ahead and shake the head out. No and yes. Maybe wag the tail a little bit right to left. And then when you're ready, Let's just hang for a second, maybe take the hands to the floor and maybe shift the weight forward onto the balls of your feet. Shift the weight back to the heels. Shift your weight to the right. Shift your weight to the left. And then find your center, find the nice sweet spot between the right and the left and between the heel and the ball of your foot. Go ahead and take some weight into the hands and let's bend those knees, knees over toes and come into that nice curved tight ball position, walking the hands forward into plank, holding plank, just breathe for a minute. 
Send energy out through your heels. Breathe. Go ahead and lower your knees, your chin, and your chest. Come into that worm position. Come all the way down onto the belly and press the palms into the floor. Tight booty, give me a nice deep cobra. Big inhale, hang out here for a second. If you need to move your head around here or drop a little bit lower if that hurts your lower back. That's fine. Keep the elbows nice and tight to the rib cage. Lower back all the way down and then press through that worm position, knees, chest, chin, push up and come back into prayer. Go ahead and just luxuriate here. Stretch that lower back out. Should feel good. Big breath. And come back onto all fours. And tuck those toes. Come back up to plank. Walk the hands back, bending the knees. So you come back through that curved position. We're warming up using this pattern. Drop the heels to the floor. Come through forward fold and slowly vertebrae by vertebrae come to standing. Good. So those of you who just joined, we're using um, the basic structure of the sun salutation to warm up. We're doing a reverse class. <laughs> Instead of ending with Sun salutations, we're starting with it. All right, here we go. Nice big breath in, sweeping the arms up and looking up. Exhale, let's dive through the arms all the way down into forward fold. Slow and steady, yogis, we're just getting started. Let's inhale and lengthen the upper, the upper torso so it becomes parallel to the floor. You can rest your hands on your knees and then release forward all the way down. Now remember, if you ever need to bend your knees, just do that. No big deal. Let's, we're all, we're coming through this curved pose anyway. So it's no big deal to have to bend your knees and forward fold. Come down into the curve, walk the hands forward into plank. This time we're gonna lift the right leg off the floor and hold. And switch. And let's drop the knees. And let's come all the way back, tucking the toes underneath the feet. Just for a minute, stretch those feet out. Breathe, and then come forward, tap those feet on the mat, just get the blood circulating. Hands to the heels or on your blocks behind your feet. Inhale, tight squeeze of the shoulders together behind you, chin to chest. Exhale, press and lift the pelvis forward and look up, camel pose. And release, very good. We're gonna walk back out into plank. I'm just turning my fan on. We're gonna walk back into plank and we're gonna hold here. We're just gonna do a couple of knee taps. Right tap, left tap, right, left. 
Now, if you want to come down on your forearms because your wrists are hurting, go ahead and do that. Always can come down to your forearms. And then come back through plank and walk the hands back, bending the knees. Come through the curve. Send the heels to the floor at the same time as you said, the top of the head to the floor. Sit bones move to the ceiling. And then vertebrae by vertebrae, slowly come up. Especially with all this heat, when we're doing ups and downs, we need to go really slowly. All right, one more slow set, big breath. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, dive through. Inhale, lengthen that upper body so it's parallel to the floor. And then release and exhale. Come on down, lifting the heels off the floor. Put some weight into those hands. Walk the hands forward, coming into plank. Shoot that energy forward and out. We're gonna lift the right leg off the floor and bring it to the right knee. Bring the right knee to the right elbow, sorry. And then send it back. Lift the left leg. Bring the left knee to the left elbow and send it back. Good. Drop the knees and let's come into table. And we're just gonna go right into bird dog, right leg up, left arm out and breathe. And switch, left leg out. The left leg is flexed, I mean left foot is flexed. Push into the mat with that left hand. Try not to arch the lower back. Tight, lifted abs. Go ahead and look at your mat. And come down. Go ahead and tuck the toes and let's come into downward facing dog. Big couple breaths here. Maybe even let out a sigh. Hmm. Tread the feet here, bending one knee and then the other. Lift the heels high to the sky and then lift, press the heels low into the ground. Press out of those 10 fingers. Make sure your palm is flat on the mat. We're gonna inhale and lift that right leg and lower the left and lower the leg. We're just gonna lift and lower. Inhale, exhale. Lower the leg. Inhale. Exhale. Lower. Inhale. Lower. Inhale. If this hurts your wrist, you can go into dolphin. Left leg. Dolphin is on your forearms. We're doing five left le leg lifts. Inhale as you lift. Exhale as you lower. Good. Come into plank. Let's just do a little push up here, lower onto your knees. Lift the feet off the ground. And let's just do a couple push ups here. Three. Two, one, good, plank, walk the hands back, bending the knees over the toes, come through that curve, should feel really good right now, and then drop the head and the heels to the floor, 
as you send the sits bones to the ceiling and slowly recover, lifting the belly button towards the spine. And that's what brings us to standing. Ooh, I'm gonna get some water. Good. Have a little water. Okay. We're gonna do a couple standing tw spinal twists for our warm up. So we're gonna take the right leg off the ground, holding the knee to the chest. I like to do some ankle circles here. Helps me get my balance and then also just gives me a minute before I have to really work hard. <laughs> All right, so now here, you can use a strap or you can grab hold of your own foot or your toe, or you can use a sweatshirt, or you can actually just grab hold of your yoga pants. If you're using a strap, you put it around the ball of your foot and you extend that, oh, and you extend that leg out. <laughs> Using a strap is a little tricky there. Okay. So I'm holding to the leg in the strap. Now, if it's not this high, that's fine. Down here is perfectly <laughs> challenging. So it just really has to do with flexibility in your hips. So I'm holding that leg in front of me. I'm gonna open up my right side of my body, which is a balancing challenge to do a standing twist. Abs have to be lifted. And it's also a challenge because you're shifting your focus. So from front to back, try and come out of it gracefully. The strap is actually messing me up. I'm gonna try the other side without the strap. So when you're ready, try the left leg. The thing I like about using the actual foot, if you can grab it, is you can use your two fingers as a hook around your big toe. The big toe pushes into the fingers and gives you a nice hook there. So you really have something to pull against as you open up the left side of your body and try to shift your focus back. You can also do this with the foot on the floor, with the heel on the floor, and just ooh, work that twist. Yeah, actually, that feels good. I'm gonna do that on the other side. All right, good. Let's take the right knee in the right hand Circle that ankle. See if you can pull it a little closer to the rib cage. Grab that foot and see if you can tuck it into the groin and then send the knee down to the floor. Take the right arm up. Woo. A little balancing challenge. Good. I'm gonna go back to the standing twist on this side, see if I can just maintain. And then I wanna see if I can actually switch hands and open it up to the side. See what happens there. It's not easy. <laughs> Come out of it with grace and a sense of humor. <laughs> All right, let's take the left leg. Try to pull that knee into the rib cage. Reach across your body, grab hold of the foot, bring it across and kind of set the heel as close to the groin as possible and then send the top of the knee down. Left arm comes up. When you're ready, you can go straight into the side stretch or you can go through 
the spinal twist, and then slowly switch hands. <laughs> hands, and then open up. And see if you can come back through and release. Yeah, I like to always rewind through my poses. That's just kind of a thing that I do. Not all yoga teachers will have you do that. You, you know, it's really up to whoever's teaching. It's a balancing challenge to have to kind of go step by step forward and step by step back. All right, that's our warm up. We're going to do our vinyasa. I mean, I'm sorry, our pranayama, our 20 breaths. You know what to do. 20 inhales, reaching the arms up, looking up with an exhale coming through prayer in your own time. This marks the end of our warm up and it brings us, drops us in to the rigor of the breath and the movement. Whenever you're ready, begin. Three more. Last one, stay up, clasp those fingers, interlace those fingers together, send the palms to the ceiling. Walk those shoulders up the ladder. You know, this is my favorite part of the class. <laughs> Walk the shoulders up. See how much space you can create between the pelvis and the rib cage, and then leave that space where it is as you slowly bring the arms down. Beautiful. Let's just take a couple of shoulder circles here. And reverse. Good, all right, we're gonna go into back into the sun salutations. So here we go, we'll probably do about five sets. Big deep breath in, sweeping the arms up. Exhale, dive through. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, release. Beautiful. Walk the hands out into down dog. Inhale, lift that right leg off the ground and send it through. And let's just do a nice twisted lunge right here. Right leg forward, right arm comes up. We're looking up over our right shoulder. and bring the hands to the inside of the right foot. We're gonna try that flying iguana, <laughs> flying lizard, I think. Left arm goes out, straight to the side. Right shoulders goes up underneath the knee and the arm goes through. Challenge yourself, see if you can balance. Hands come back to the mat. Right leg goes back, left leg lifts and swings through. Twisted lunge on the opposite side. Breathe. Hands come to the inside of the left foot. Right arm shoots out to the side, left, Elbow comes underneath the leg and out. If you want, just leave the left hand on the mat, that's fine. 
When you're ready, hands come back to the mat. Left leg goes back. We're gonna do our flow through our vinyasa. You can do the knees first if you want, or you can do a straight chaturanga. Come through cobra, tuck the toes. Come back to down dog. Look up between your hands. Step or jump the feet forward. Come into forward fold and roll to standing. Big breath up. Sweep the arms. Inhale, exhale, dive. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, release. Inhale, walk out to down dog. Lift the right leg. Step it through. Crescent pose on the right side. Look up towards the, uh, where the wall meets the ceiling. See if you can come down just a little deeper. Take the arms down and see if you can do a reverse prayer here with a prayer up your back and send the elbows back. Three breaths. Release on the exhale, hands come to the mat, right leg goes back, left leg lifts, step it through, crescent, crescent pose on the left side. Drop the scapulas down the back, bend that knee over the toes, Let those arms open. See if you can try prayer here. Send the elbows back. Energy in that back heel. Abs are engaged. Release the hands. Hands to the mat. Step the left leg back. Plank. Chaturanga. Cobra. Down dog, or you can always just hang out and down dog and wait for us. Step or jump the feet to the hands, roll to standing. That's two sets already. Big breath in, inhale, exhale, dive. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, release. Inhale, walk the hands forward into down dog. And exhale, and down dog. Inhale, lift the right leg. Step it through, drop the back heel, warrior one. Hips are forward. Settle into that warrior one, three breaths right here. Make sure the knee is over the ankle. Come forward on the angle. So create a nice long diagonal line in warrior one. Go ahead and take your hands to prayer. Lift the back heel off the floor and twist to your right. Rest your left elbow on your right knee. Yeah, beautiful. You can stay here, you can open the arms. Use that as a little traction. Come back through the prayer. Come back through that long line. Drop the heel. And then hands to the mat. Down dog. Lift the left leg up. Swing it through. Drop the back heel. Warrior one. Left side. Three big breaths. Hands to prayer. Lift the back heel, twist to the left. Right elbow to left knee. Look over your left shoulder. 
Open up the arms if you want. Rewind through the prayer and hands to the mat. Send the leg, left leg back through down dog. Stay in down dog or flow through your vinyasa. Jump or step the feet to the hands. Forward fold. I don't get my feet all the way to my hands anymore. Oh well. <laughs> Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, dive through. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, release. Step back, down dog. Lift the right leg. Step it through, drop the back heel, pinwheel into warrior two. Three breaths in warrior two. Reach forward, someone's pulling you, and then reach back, someone's pulling you. Forward, keep that knee strong over the ankle, and back. Forward, as far forward as you can go, and then as far back as you can go. Forward, and back. Neutral. Pinwheel that left arm up and over, hands to the mat. Step into down dog. Lift the left leg, inhale. Exhale, step it through, drop the back heel. Pinwheel to warrior two, opposite side. Three breaths. Now I want you to really rotate those legs, spiral staircase legs. Knee over ankle. Four push me pull yous. Reach. Reach. See if you can touch the wall. See if you can touch the wall. Keep that leg strong, both legs strong. Knee over ankle. One more. I call this surfing warrior, but I don't know. It's really surfing <laughs> in my head. Come to neutral. Pinwheel those arms to the mat. Stay in down dog or do your vinyasa. Step or jump. Roll to standing. Last one. Is this the last one? Or is there two more? I, have a, I think this is the last one. We'll say it's the last one. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, back to down dog, exhale and down dog, inhale, lift the right leg, step through, drop the back heel, come up to warrior two, lengthen that front leg, Reach like you're picking something out of the fridge and tilt into triangle. Breathe here, three breaths. Go ahead and look down. Bring your hands to the mat and lift that back heel up and move the back foot to the edge of your mat and forward slightly. See if you can lengthen that front leg and let's do a twisted triangle. So we just did triangle and now we're doing twisted triangle. Right arm is up. And hands to the mat. Step the right leg back and the left leg back. Down dog. Inhale, lift the left leg up, swing it through, drop the back heel. Pinwheel around to warrior two, lengthen that front leg. Tilt, 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 reach for that apple juice, and then come on down into a triangle. Press the pelvis forward, you wanna be nice and flat. 
three breaths. Look down, hands to the mat, lift the back heel, move the back foot to the edge of your mat and forward. Right hand comes slightly forward of the left foot, twist and look over your left shoulder. Pull that left hip back. Three breaths. Hands to the mat, step on back. Stay here in down dog or do your last vinyasa. Step or jump the feet to the hands and roll to standing. Wow, that got me very sweaty. What's the time? Ooh, good. Excellente. Let's come on down to the mats. So now we get to do our seated stuff. All of our standing stuff is done. Before we lay down on our back, let's just do a little twist. Take your right left leg in front of you, left foot across, <clears throat> lengthen the left arm up before you wrap it around the right knee. Lengthen the right arm up and then open it to the back. Lots of twists today. That's our theme. Standing twists, runner's lunge twists, and now a seated twist. We should be able to do a whole 360 turn right now. We should be like an owl. We should be so loose. <laughs> oh. And switch sides. Left leg crosses. Lengthen the right arm. Hook it around the knee. Lengthen the left and open it up. Keep that foot flexed, that right foot flexed. And recover. Let's take the soles of the feet together. Go ahead and just open those feet like a book and send the elbows into the calves. And the, uh, so pressing the knees down into the mat. Breathe here. And send the left leg out to the left, right foot into the groin, flex the left foot, lengthen the right arm, walk the left hand down the ankle. See if you can maybe even hook onto that toe and just give yourself a little stretch. Drop the left, the right scapula down the back and root the right hip into the floor. And recover, switch sides. Long left arm, walk that right hand down the leg. Use the toe or just grab hold of your, your pants and pull yourself down. Drop the left scapula down the back, lift the belly button towards the spine, open up the rib cage towards the ceiling. See if you can pull your ear a little closer, root the left hip. and recover and we're going to just send both legs in front of us <clears throat> feet are flexed inhale exhale hands come down walk those hands as low as you can but keep that long spine so we don't want to curve forward we're just lengthening 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 
through the top of the head. Take the hands a little bit further, a little bit further, and then when you can't keep your back straight any longer, go ahead and pull yourself down into a forward fold, a seated forward fold. If you want to grab hold of your ankles, you can do that, or your toes. Exhale into the stretch. And let's recover and come on down to our backs. All right. We are going to do a little ab workout. So our hands are going to be, <clears throat> see, behind our head. <laughs> Let me see if I can figure this out. Okay. Uh, okay. Okay. So we're going to start with the knees uh, in table, the legs in table. So your knees are right on top of your hips. They're not falling towards your chest. The knees are right on top of the hips. We're gonna inhale and lengthen the left leg with our head on the floor. On the exhale, we're gonna bring the left knee in and we're gonna lift the upper body off the ground. Let's just do 10 of these with the left leg. Inhale, lower the upper body. Exhale, crunch to table, that's two. Three, four, five, do not go faster than what I'm doing, six, seven, the challenge is to go slow and controlled. Eight, see if you can get the upper body off the floor a little higher every time. Nine, and 10, good. Go ahead and drop the feet to the floor. Let the knees just fall to the right. Maybe gently look over your left shoulder. And then let the knees fall to the left and look over your right shoulder. We've got to do the right side. Let's come back to table, hands behind the head. Inhale, extend the right leg. Exhale, crunch to table. Two. Three. Four. See if you can get the rib cage all the way off the ground. Five all the way to the bra line, six, keep the elbows back, seven, three more, eight, nine, ten, beautiful, go ahead, just let the knees fall back and forth, maybe hug the knees to the chest and circle them, massaging your lower back, on the ground. Good. Go ahead and do a happy baby. Grab the outsides of the, of the feet and see if you can kind of send the lower back into the floor and maybe rock back and forth if you feel like it. I want to do some lower abs here. So we're gonna take the hands down by the, um, on the mat, palms down, legs up. We're gonna lower the legs to about as far as you can lower them, 45, 50, whatever feels good. Bring them back and then lift the pelvis off the floor with a little breath of fire. Inhale, lower the legs. Exhale, lift the legs. Then a little inhale and a little lifting the pelvis off the floor. Keep going. Good. 
So we have a slow breath with the leg lower and the leg lift, and then a breath of fire right there as you lift the pelvis towards the ceiling. It's a small movement. Try not to use momentum and try not to use your hands. The hands are there to stabilize you, but not to get your hips off the floor. Ah, that makes it a lot harder, right? Two more. Good. All right. We have time to do obliques. <laughs> I know, I know you wanted to. All right. We're gonna have. Let's see. What are we gonna? How are we gonna do this? Let's put the left leg. Let's put both feet on the floor. <laughs> Take the right arm out to the side with the palm down. We're gonna inhale with the left arm above the head. On the exhale, we're gonna come across the body and slice the outside of the thigh. You can push into the floor coming up on your elbow slightly and then come down. Five on the right, five on the left. Inhale, one. Two, three, four, five. Use the breath. Use that exhale. We're going to come a little bit further away from the wall. On the other side, the left hand is out to the side, palm down, right arm above the head. Inhale, you can actually come up onto that elbow slightly to get your hand to the outside of the left knee. Two, reach across that body. Three, four, five. Good, let's take the hands down by the sides and lift that pelvis up into a bridge. Just hold here, tight booty, press the feet into the floor. Breathe. <sighs> See if you can get the pelvis a little higher. Why don't we go ahead and tuck the shoulders underneath the rib cage. If you want, you can clasp the hands together underneath your booty and send the palms down into the ground. Lift the heels off the floor. You can stay here or you can lower the heels and take the right leg up to the ceiling. Send the heel to the ceiling. Flex that foot. Press the left leg into the floor. When you're ready, switch sides. Unclasp the hands if you have them clasped. Untuck the shoulders and then roll the hips down to the floor. Woo. Let's go into candle. <clears throat> so you can use your the momentum of your legs to kind of get your hands up your back. I'm walking my hands up my back and then I'm sending my feet to the ceiling. Now you don't want your feet over your head. You want them straight, coming straight out of your pelvis. You can point the toes or you can flex the feet. And then if you're, if you want, you can come into plow by lowering the legs to the floor over your head and taking the palms flat on the mat.
You can also grab the ankles. And then when you're ready, lower the legs, lower the pelvis first, and then lower the legs slowly all the way down to the floor. <sighs> mm, big breath right here. Mm -hmm. We're gonna go into deep relaxation. Take a deep breath in. Stretch your body, feet away from fingers. Tighten everything up, tighten your face, tighten your glutes. Tighten everything, fists. And then when you're ready, relax into the floor. <sighs> Stick out your tongue. Say, ah. <laughs> Ooh, that was a loud one today. And I'm gonna put on a piece of music that'll give us about a three minute deep relaxation. So just close your eyes and enjoy. Sorry, that was not relaxing. <laughs> I want a relaxing song. Let's try this one.
You can stay in Shavasana or come to a seated position and we'll close our practice today with our hands in prayer. Just taking note of the work that we did today, we brought ourselves to the mats. We brought ourselves to our breath, to our challenges, to our strengths. We faced ourselves today. We're so lucky to be able to do that. The spirit in me salutes the spirit in you. Namaste.